Hello and welcome to my Java tutorial. This is Ishmael D, and today I'm going to be doing. Um, let me just demonstrate quickly. I'm always a failure when I'm doing introductions, so <laughs> just ruined it on myself. Um, this is um, if you copy all this down, you're going to get exactly this. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be when I store something here, the best, yeah, obviously, and uh, my surname. We can store it. We're going to store it into a notepad file, and then we're going to open that text file by J file chooser. I promised that I would make a J file chooser um, tutorial on how to open a file, and I'm going to do it today. So uh, let's get cracking. <laughs> um, I'm going to close that. Stop it. <laughs> Terminate it. All right. So um, yeah. So basically, I did all the imports. So we can use in the, the program, the application, and two strings, a static. So we can. Uh, it's like a global variable. Although, although these are like global, but this is kind of different. You can process data differently, and it's not an object, as these these are objects or instance. Hope it made sense. <laughs> All right. So this is the J frame. Title, J text field two JTEX fields and two buttons you can name them whatever you want this tutorial will be very useful for those who are doing degrees and you know wishing to store data you know for their projects and two J panels one for the for the J text field and label I I forgot to create the J label so I just created them there so you know me being lazy and I created a panel for the buttons and make sure you add an action listener to both of the buttons. Okay, so I'm going to go here and action performed method and go if e get source equals what I named the button add. Then we want to execute this code. So um, first thing we want to get all the data from the text field j text field so name equals we want to set it to blank first do the same surname equals all right <laughs> not hard at all all right so uh, we're going to use a static here the, the the other string which i called summary equals we're going to add both of these uh, name plus surname oh shoot I forgot to add uh, name equals j text field which is name one get text and trim everything which is like blank spaces and same thing for surname I'm clumsy aren't I sir name one get text I'm just gonna type it stop being lazy oh so much effort <laughs> trim you can choose to use trim or not it doesn't really matter but it can cut if you're using spaces it will just cut that down um, before the name you want to set something here we go name of uh, name of student or full name anything add a plus there plus sign <laughs> all right so next thing is string we're going to declare a string data this is the difference between um, a static and a non-static is this um, what did I call it Ishmael tot j dot summary we get to use it yay we can't use the rest <laughs> all right what a miracle all right so um, next thing is we're going to try and catch try try and catch you know <laughs> catch i'm just going to add an exception here i o exception i'm going to go capital e because we put in the e there so yeah um s y s o control space error is plus e all right we got that done what's up
Anyways, let's continue. Now we don't use throws, no difference. Um, we want to go buffered writer equals, oh, actually, just name it. <laughs> let's call it, um, what should I call it? Oh, reader, some lame name, buffered writer equals new file writer. This is going to make us because the file writer import has the next line. If we just use this one, we're just going to display one data at a time. So we use this one, writer, new file. I actually wrote down in notepad. Um, yeah, we want to use this file. Make sure you put everything in forward slash. Woohoo! And we want to set it to true. Okay. True. Come on. New. I forgot new. Alright, so uh, semicolon. Alright, so reader dot write data. So we're going to write everything in the summary, which is this. And this gets text from the JTEX field. So it's a bit of logic for there. And reader dot next line. So cool. Reader dot close. If you don't use close, it will basically, the day will just go out of the notepad. <laughs> if you use close, you just close it. And uh, what else? Let's make sure it happens. That's right. So S Y S O. Yes. Um, um, done. Woo. Okay, so let's run this quickly. Let's go here. Ishmael ZD. Add student name. Done. So I'm going to make it viewable. Let me go out of this if statement. Yes, okay, here. If E get source. This is, this is going to be the J file chooser. Let me see how long I'm taking. All right, going good so far. I was actually going to start the application from start from scratch, but then, yeah. <laughs> what did I name that other one? Let me go Control Space. No, not add. I'm so lazy. Where is it? Open. <laughs> um, open. All right. Must be lowercase. All right. Um, if we click open J file chooser, chooser, <laughs> J new, new J file chooser, and copy and paste the path, not the text. Uh, don't include the text. Let me. Where am I? Where's the notepad? Okay. So we just co copy this bit. Don't do the txt. Otherwise, we'll complain. You'll be like convert it to file blah 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 all right so we set the directory to this so whenever you open the j file chooser it would go here so yeah save us some time all right so int x this so for the if statement chooser show open show open dialog no all right and uh, what else yeah, the if statement, of course. If x equals j file chooser, the open button, what is it called? Approve option. It usually comes out first. It's just being weird. Okay, so when we do click on it, what's up? I'll put the if statement. Should work now. Oh. Other sign. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me go back to these curly braces. If that is true, we want to open. We want to set it to the file. So file. Um, I'll just call it file. Watch. Uh, chooser. Dot get selected file. Okay. So now we're going to do try and catch. 
try uh, desktop dot get desktop dot open file. All right. So go catch uh, IO exception. There's something wrong with the desktop. You can't really open media files. Um, there's a media, I don't know, package where you can do so. Um, I tried to install it, but it didn't work. <laughs> I'm just going to call it double E. What am I doing that? You failed. Ha <laughs> ha. How funny. All right, let's remove this. All right, so uh, let's open the file. Let's store how much. Let's store Ishmael as a D. Well, I can't click it. Let's go uh, Steve Jobs data. Uh, pff, I don't know. What should I say? Ugh. Nick Bobby. Add. So we've done it. So it's successful. Let's open the text file. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm back. Um, I s and I thought I suffered from a blue screen of death, but I haven't. So, you know, my graphics card just crashed for some odd reason. Let's go back here, add some new files. Uh, sorry, new text. Let's call it Ishmael. The f the failure. Okay, so add student. Open. Let's hope it doesn't crash. Oh, it looks like we just dig in. Something's wrong. You go open. All right. Oh my God! <laughs> I just showed the preview tests, previous tests, and there we got Steve Jobs and we got Ishmael Zadi. Um, yeah, we probably want to add a space. You can do this easily. Where are you? Okay, here. So we go. Double quotation marks, just space. Just go plus here should work perfectly. I don't know what's wrong with my PC or should I say laptop. Add Oh ruined the moment. Yeah so there's a space and this is how you do it. This is how you get everything that you type on a J text field and you add it to a text file and uh, what else? Um, yeah, you can do multiple, uh, you know, you can add so many data through this new line. And you, I taught you how to open a file through J file chooser. Although if we clicked open text file, I could have done that and we just opened it straight away the text file, but I wanted to show you how to do it in J file chooser. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you understood everything and catch you later. And please subscribe so you can stay in tune. Yeah.